Hey fellow astronomers, uh, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video for anyone using the Los Mande uh, G11 mount and uh, converting it to the on-step. Um, I actually haven't tested this yet, um, but uh, my opinion so far is on-step is fantastic. I want to make a bunch of videos on actually making up the board. That's the board uh, that I went with. Um, actually, I have five of them if anybody's interested. Um, but um, uh, this video is just to talk about some of the mounting options for the G11 uh, that you have. So uh, there are a bunch of different uh, 3D printable brackets out there. Uh, this is a pretty simple one uh, that, that, that you can print and it just literally just goes right there and your motor goes right in there and that's, that's that. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, clearly you probably want to print and that's what uh, uh, they're recommending online as well as printed in ABS and not PLA, which makes sense because obviously in the summer PLA is going to just get soft versus ABS uh, won't. So, uh, yep, print that out at ABS. With that being said, I didn't really care for these brackets. There's a couple other designs out there as well that, um, so I kind of came up with, with just my little design here. This is on thing verse as well. It's exactly the same, only I added the, the, the little support brackets and that actually just kind of snaps in there and fits in there kind of nice and I just I thought gave it a little bit more stiffness. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Uh, clearly we're just direct driving the worm shaft so there's no reduction ratio. So you get no benefit of, of any gearing in there. Um, the other big disadvantage with this is you got this stupid little coupling here. Um, you can get a two three piece coupling so there's a a metal piece here and then you buy a separate metal piece here they both obviously have different diameters and then there's a plastic piece that goes in the middle uh, i could actually only find that in europe i didn't find that in the states maybe somebody knows a better spot for it um i don't really also care for that just for the fact <coughs> excuse me that you got the plastic in there um so i think the, the flex coupling is the better way to go um, the issue with these stupid thing is, is when you buy them, the diameter is too big. So the clearance that you have in here is simply too small. So you have to throw this in a lathe. Uh, I just put a bolt through it and a nut on it and compressed it down and threw it in, in, a, in, in my mill actually and just uh, machined off a little bit of the diameter. Once you do that, obviously it fits right on there. Um, put the right side on. Um, fits right on there and there you go. But again, you have to machine some off so you have some clearance there. Um, but the whole fact that you have to have this stupid thing is another spot for error, but it is what it is. So that is one option. Um, clearly, if you go with the, 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 the better motors, they stick out even further, which is a bit of a problem down here because this thing starts to stick out a ways and now you're going to lose um, just some of your, your uh, uh, positioning here before stuff starts uh, running into your mount. Oops, sorry. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm doing astrophotography, so I really wanted to um, try to make this the best I could. So I actually made this mount very, very similar to um, to that design. Uh, essentially, just added um, some some options for the motor. So there is a 60 tooth gear and a uh, 20 tooth gear on it. Uh, this is a 200, the GT200 belt. Um, I think you buy this whole kit for, uh, I think it was like 18 bucks or something on Amazon. So dirt cheap. Um, I've done a number of revisions of this mount, but I think I've got it down fairly well, which is the way I like it. Um, this, again, you just literally slide right on here. One second, there we go. And that snaps in. So Advantage, obviously I got a three to one ratio here. I don't know if the belt makes it a little bit smoother or if it just makes it worse, I don't, I don't know. Um, you still have to have this stupid coupling in here, uh, but that's that. It is nice because it's nice and clean. Uh, nothing sticking out here. It's all kind of um, hidden away in here, which is kind of nice. There is still plenty of clearance. Uh, I shouldn't say plenty, but there's still clearance under there so your mount can swing and it doesn't run into that or anything like that. Uh, the more wires will obviously have to come out here or under there. Probably back here is just the easiest. Um, but that's that. So that is certainly um, the way I'm going to run with it. Uh, with all that said, I think both of these options are kind of crappy, to be honest with you. And if I was to do this again, and I may just as well do this again, probably anyway, is the third option is literally this bracket here. You can swap it around. 
Uh, so literally you just take out the two bolts and, and switch this around. This face here, I actually machine this off just to give myself a little bit more bite. You don't have to do that, but but it just gave me a little bit more to to, to mount that uh, that little um, uh, coupling onto. Uh, but point is, is if we flip this around, rather than the 60 tooth gear, you can go with a 40 tooth gear fit. The 60 won't fit on here, um, but a 40 fits just fine. So literally, we can flip that around. Uh, rather than the 200, if um, if you go with a 180, this is a 180 belt. So I just got this on, again, on Amazon when I was looking at all of this and going, hey, you know what? Um, we could just mount that right there on the end. The motor literally then can go right here, and we completely get rid of the stupid coupling. Um, all this alignment stuff we don't have to worry about. So again, we just flip this over. We directly put that on. We only get a, a two to one ratio, but hey, two to one, we're already doubling whatever resolution, whatever you set your steps on and your controller on. Hey, if you throw the, 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 uh, the belt in a two to one ratio, you just double that. So I see this as really a win-win um, a, a situation. Again, this motor can get, can get mounted right under here, so it's completely out of the way. And the other advantage that I was thinking about this when I when I dropped this bracket, and I think I am going to just change this over and draw this up, is I was actually going to put the implement the cover into the bracket itself, so that when you print this out, that would just go on there as well as the cover, and the motor would sit boom right there. And end users, all I have to do is buy the stupid little fifteen dollar kit, no flex coupling, no machining, no nothing. And um, then you just need to one bracket. So that is uh, the next step. But considering I've got this right now and I want to do some imaging and just test and see how this thing compares, um, I also have a uh, uh, EM200 mount that I've been using. So I want to get this up tonight and hopefully um, just do a comparison and see how it compares, if it's complete junk or if it works great. So very good. Clear skies.